Hi guys! In this run, I'm going to use Ursula's FR to deal with the force weakness on this stage. Ursula's FR is a melee FR and it's normally non elemental, which is where the Fujin LD call comes in. So, by using that call, you can enchant the Ursula with wind elemental and you can therefore hit the force weakness on this stage and cancel the max brave down aura. Since Ursula is a generalist sort of FR, I decided to then bring Sid Highwind along for the ride. Sid Highwind also does pretty okay here because his EX is Wind Elemental, which means that it's one of the elementals that's not locked up. Normally, my Sid Highwind runs are 1 to 2 turns, but the main issue on this stage is that Ursula's FR is a little bit outdated at this stage. And her FR does have a drawback that she gets another turn after that, which means that you get one less turn of uh, force gauge supercharging. So to compensate for that, this run is going to be slightly longer at 8 turns because I incorporate a self free friend support to apply Rapture and I make use of the launches to offset the slight loss of damage coming from Ursula's FR compared to the more recent FRs like Hope or Iroha. So at the start, what I had is reset until Iroha went first and then I used her additional ability before immediately swapping her out for selfie so that I can apply wall and rapture on the fight. On Luna Freya's turn, I went one round of her LD use just so that she can apply quick prayer on both selfie and seed hyrene at the same time. Take this opportunity to also apply heavy prayer on selfie so that you get the additional HP damage on launch. Once Quick Prayer has been applied, the next order of business is to just wait until Selfie gets her turn again so that I can kick her out and get Ursula to come back in. In the meantime, what I'm doing is to fill the Force Gauge meter with Luna Freya. Before ending her turn, you want to make sure that the Force Gauge is at 100%, that her BT Aura is up, and you have at least 2 users of Energy Heal remaining. At this point though, very funnily enough, Luna Freya's max brave is going to be 0, which really neuters all damage that she will do, but it doesn't really matter, she's not here for the damage, she's here for the utility. One note that I do want to make is that throughout the majority of the fight, you want to keep the targeting cursor on boss A, and only use the Preach LD call on boss B. During Sid Highwind's 4 turns here, you do want to make sure that you use at least one of his S1 and S2 so that you can refresh his framed buffs on himself. Before finally ending his turn rotation here, you do want to use his additional ability as well to give him a slight boost to his stats.
Coming to Southeastern, I had her use one LD, one wall, and one EX. The EX I think is rather optional, you can also opt for two LDs and one wall. Regardless of which you choose, the goal is to use an instant turn right at the end so that she will immediately exit the field and Ursula can come back in. Now that Ursula is back in, what I did is go the Fujin LD call into FR into LD. I guess my main issue with Ursula's FR is that it will eat 2 turns if she doesn't have quick play up because you will spend 1 turn to use her FR and 1 turn to use her LD to end her turn. So just doing this, she contributes 2 out of the 8 turn counts. Coming back to Luna Freya's turn, you first want to use one energy heal to boost everyone to max brave. And then you want to do one quick prayer on Seed High Wind. And then you want to do one more energy heal. At 6 turns of force time remaining, you want to immediately go into the Kate Sif LD call and then end her turn using EX. This will allow you to start Sid High Wind's turn at 4 turns of force time remaining. Inside summon, the remaining 4 turns will be simply Krish LD call and then 3 EX with Seed High Wind, which should do enough damage to kill off the bosses. And boss is dead. I hope the video has been helpful and if you enjoy the content as always do leave a like, comment and subscribe. It really helps a lot. Till then I'll see you guys in the next Shinryu fight. Bye!